Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. In this tutorial, I will guide you to fix an error in which your start menu is not working. You will get an error. We will try to fix it the next time you log in. Before proceeding, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. The first step we are going to do is to open your settings menu. In settings menu, click on update and security. In update and security, click on check for updates and make sure your window is up to date. This one is the basic step and help you out and even help many users who are facing this issue. This one is the basic step that you need to perform. If this doesn't help you out, we are going to proceed to second step. In second step, simultaneously press Windows and X key. It will open few op options to you. Click on Windows PowerShell as an admin mode. Once the Windows PowerShell is open, I have a command. This one is the command. I will provide you this command in the description below so that you can easily copy and paste over here. Once you paste the command over here, after that hit the enter button. This command will re-register start menu for you. I am not going to hit the enter button because this command will take a lot of time. But at your end, after hitting the enter button, please wait patiently and after that restart your PC and check for the resolution. If still the problem persists, we are going to proceed to third step. In third step, we are going to replace your database. For that, you must be logged in as an administrator mode. So for that, again press Windows and X key and click on Task Manager. In Task Manager, click on the File menu and click on the New Task. Type here CMD. Check this box for the admin privilege and hit the OK button. Once the CMD is open, you need to type here a command net user space administrator space slash active colon yes and hit the enter button. The command is completed successfully and it will open administrator for you. So I will let's go ahead and log in administrator by locking this window. You can see now I am going to log in as an administrator mode. Once you logged in into the administration mode, open your my computer. In my computer, first of all, click on the view button and enable hidden files to view all the hidden files in your PC. Now locate C drive, users, admin, app data, local. Here if you find a folder with the name tile data layer, there is no such folder available at my end but at your end if you find a folder with this name tile data layer make sure you delete this folder from your computer. Once the folder is deleted, again restart your PC and check if the problem is resolved or not. If still the problem persists, we are going to proceed to the last step. In last step, we are going to reset your PC. So for that, open your settings menu by pressing Windows and I key simultaneously. Click on update and security. In update and security, click on the troubleshoot button, sorry recovery button. In recovery, click on reset this PC get started button. Click on keep my files and proceed with the reset your PC. It won't delete a single file of yours and it will automatically reset your PC to a completely new PC. That's it about it friends. These are the four ways or three ways on how you can resolve this error. 
some users have reported that by opening your PC in safe mode also resolve this issue. So that's it about it friends. If you like my tutorial, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching.